Hi students, good morning. Uh, so this class is neuron and neuroglial cells, which is a continuation of second lecture of this class. So the second lecture of neuroglial cells, uh, we were discussing the classification of uh, neuroglial cells on the basis of their structures in which we have learned only bipolar neuron. So here we can see the diagram of a bipolar neuron as we have learned that it's having two poles. One is dendrites and other is the terminal button. So that end point of the axons. So here you can see uh, different parts of the neurons and there and how it looks like. So first one is dendrites then in between it's having its body and it's, so have, it's known as this part is soma and this is the axons and in the down there are the terminal buttons. So here second type in, uh, according to the classification on a structural basis of neuroglial cells, second type is known as unipolar neurons. Unipolar neurons have a single process extending from its cell body. Means, the cell body has a single projection that is going So, this process is divided into branches. So, in this branch, uh, cell body se, a continuation mein, uh, projection hua, and uh, further it is divided into many many different branches which is known as Exome. So one branch peripheral process is called with dendrites near a peripheral body part. The other branch central branch enters the brain or spinal cord. The cell body of same unipolar neurons aggregate in the and supplying in the masses of a nervous tissue which is called ganglia. So in this slide, you can say unipolar neuron. So here, this is the diagram of unipolar neuron. So you can see the upward projections. This is known as dendrites and it's having body of exons. And this is soma as we have seen in last bipolar also. No? And when it's uh, coming down, these, there are the terminal buttons. Third type is multipolar neurons. So multipolar neurons have many processes arising from their cell body. So only one process of each neuron is an exome. Most neurons, those whose cell bodies lie within the brain or spinal cord are multipolar. So just keep in your mind that cell bodies within the brain and spinal cord are multipolar. Most of these neurons are motor neurons. So here you can see multipolar neuron diagram as the name suggests itself you can differentiate with the previous structure of neuron like bipolar like multipolar. So you can differentiate on the basis of their structure as it's having pole. So as the name suggests itself multipolar neuron. So you can see here different different no the poles are here. So other another parts of the neurons will be the same as uh, this projection upward projection are dendroids and if you will come down this is exon helix this is exons then myelination will be there then there are at the down there are terminal buttons next is the classification of neurons so this is on the basis of their functional differences so what we have learned that was also classification of neurons but don't be confused that we have learned on the basis of their structure that will be like unipolar like multipolar like unipolar and here we are learning on the basis of their functional differences so these further categorized into three. First one is sensory function second is having interneurons and third one is motor neurons so sensory neurons how they function so sensory neurons carry nerve impulses from peripheral body part into the brain or spinal cord so aapke peripheral body part se brain ko jo bhi information mil rahi hai that is because of the peripheral body part of that neuron next is sensory neurons either have a specialized receptor ends at the tip of their dendrites or they have dendrites that are closely associated with receptor cells in the skin or in sensory organ most sensory neurons are unipolar although some area bipolar second type is interneurons so interneurons lies 
entirely within the brain or spinal cord. They are multipolar and link other neurons. Interneurons transmit impulses from one part of the brain or spinal cord to the another. Third one is motor neurons. Motor neurons are multipolar. These are multipolar and carry nerve impulses out of the brain or spinal cord to effectors. Like uh, someone prick you or you get any injury. So the impulses will be received by your brain from the sensory neurons. Uh, like uh, you have slab or you have a pinch or you have any season or you have prick whatever uh, which kind of sensation you have made. Okay. Next that information will be coming back to your motor neurons. Okay. So motor neurons ko jab information milti hai, so they will be making a particular function based on their muscle activity. Like agar aapke haath mein chot lagi hai, aapke haath pe kaata chuba hai. Clear? So aapka haath ek dam se hat jata hai. So this is because of that presence of afferent and efferent or arterioles and information receiving by the brain with the help of the sensory neurons and your body reflex that is uh, that is with the help of motor neurons. So you can say motor impulses also stimulate muscles to contract. Ek bar jab motor neurons activate ho jate hai, inko information mil jati hai, then they know how to work. Abhi unko kya moment lekar aana hai body mein and stimulate glands to release secretion also. So this slide is for uh, structure of neurons. You can say motor neurons. So it's also having dendrites, soma and axons. So it is same. So in this slide, you can see central nervous system. There is a division in between. There is a central nervous system and this uh, division is for peripheral nervous system. And here you will learn how the body is reflecting or the body is functioning based on this activity, neuronal activity. So in between there is a link that is known as interneurons and here if you will see this part there is motor neuron. So motor, function of motor neuron is by the efferent. Okay. So how they work means here it will start from here. So uh, suppose this is your skin. Okay. And here presence of the neurons which um, supply by nerve which is having a sensory receptor. So whatever uh, injury and whatever touch you have been felt here that will be with the help of sensory receptor. So dendrites uh, will are having sensory receptor. So they will send message to your central nervous system. Okay message will go to your brain. Now brain is having the idea of which kind of injury you are having and which area of your body you feel that uh, moment. Now what will happen? Information is going down or it is passing. So there is a connection between the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. So now information is coming down. Now your, per your peripheral nervous system is activated in which what will happen their motor, neur motor neurons or efferent arterioles will be activated now information was coming from here it is received to the brain and now uh, motor neurons are activated and motor ne neurons knows which muscle is hurted or which part of body is hurted so they will initiate the action for the same part. Now what will happen here, so effector receptors or particular muscle or gland are activated now, hands will be back. So, jaysse aapko kuch chuba, jaysse kisi ne aapko hurt kiya ya phir kahi pe struck hua, so what will happen, turant aapki body mein moment a jata, ek reflex a jata hai, aap bhi us part ko back kar lete ho for your defense. So, this class of neuro and neuroglial cells was the third lecture and in this we have discussed the classification of neuron based on their function on which we have divided it into three clear that was based on their function so hope this class will be easy and will be useful productive for you and uh, you can follow this link for the references thank you all